What's good, y'all? Master Yoshi here. It's been a minute, but like good crack, I'm back. And today, I'm going to talk to y'all about some of the skills I feel are essential to every motorcycle rider. Drop the beat. That's right, what's good y'all? I'm talking to y'all about some of the skills I feel are essential. They are necessary. Every rider, new or old, needs to be able to do these things. The first, Jesus. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the ability to accelerate quickly. First, I'm going to tell y'all what it is and then I'm gonna tell y'all why I believe this is a skill you all need to have. Let's say you're in a situation to where you're on one of them long country highways and uh, you're at a red light. Now, there's traffic behind you doing 60 miles per hour and the light turns green. You want to be able to quickly accelerate up to the 60 miles per hour at least so that way you're not impeding traffic at all. That way you're minimizing the chances of somebody running up on you. Another instance in which you might need to be able to take off quickly, let's say you're at an intersection, right? You know you need to go right. You know you need to go right to hop on the freeway to hit the on-ramp. But the right lane has 10 cars in it and the left lane has none. So you might want to go to the front of the lane, I mean to the front of the light, that way you ain't waiting behind 10 cars, but you need to be able to accelerate quickly to beat the car next to you. That way you can get over and make the turn you need to make. One last instance in which I feel like being able to take off quickly comes in handy. Now, let's see, you see I'm at this intersection. There's a perfect time gap for me to go right here. But let's say it's at a different time of the day when there is lots of traffic you're gonna to have to be able to blend into that traffic quickly. And to do that, you wanna be able to take off quickly. Another skill I feel is very important to have is the ability to downshift. Now I know y'all are thinking, if you go upshift, you should be able to downshift. Yeah, I know, but some people out here, man, it seems like they don't know how to downshift. They don't know how to decelerate and get into the correct gear. Now I say this is important because I see some people, let's say this light turned red. They were just pulling the clutch, coast up to the light using their brake, I mean, and brake up to the light, and then just downshift all the way in the first. Or even worse, what they'll do is, they'll see the light turn red, they'll go, they'll pull in the clutch, drop down the first gear, before they're even really slow enough to be in first gear. So you wanna be, like this, perfect example, this go like this, and shift all the way down to first gear. Now yes, you can do this, but now let's say you were at a stale red light or coming to a light that was a stale red. If you do that, what if the light turns green and the traffic behind you wants to go ahead and get going? You're in first gear doing 50 miles an hour. Now, depending on your bike, your bike ain't going like that too much. On a 600, it'll be screaming. <laughs> on a 1000, you'll be all right. But if you're on a 300 or anything less than 600, that might be very stressful for your bike and you'll probably abruptly engine brake and lock your back tire up, if, especially if you don't merge the shift well. Now, of course, I did a video on uh, clutchless downshifting and rev matching, so check that out if you wanna work on your downshifting skills. You also need to be able to know at what speed you should have a general idea of what gear you should be in. That way, if that situation, like I said, arises, you click down to the right gear. Another skill I feel like you need to have, or not even a skill, but the knowledge of counter steering and how it works. This time right here, I'm pulling my handlebar to the right, or technically I'm pushing to the left, and I'm able to turn left. Some people don't even think counter steering, they think they can, can decide when they want to counter steer. I saw a video trying to explain it, and they made it sound as if, oh, I could just choose the counter steer right here. There's a certain point at which counter steering takes effect, a certain speed. I believe it's around 12 or 15 miles an hour. So if you're doing anything faster than that, if you're doing anything faster than that, um, Damn, my bad. 
If you're doing anything faster than that, if you're going to turn, you're going to counter steer. There's no way around it. But now let's say you're in a turn in which you need to lean more, or you need your bike to lean more, or you need to turn sharper. You may need to counter steer a little harder in, able, in order to negotiate that turn. So you wanna be comfortable with how that works. If you're in a turn, you're taking a left turn, you're leaning, you're like, oh man, I need to lean a little harder. I need to turn a little harder. Push that handlebar to turn left a little bit more. Now along with counter steering, you need to be comfortable with turning with your body position. For the same reasons, if you're in a turn and you need to turn a little sharper, you might need a little bit more body position to do it. I can hear you, some of y'all might be thinking, you can't change your body position while you're in the middle of a corner. This is true to a degree. Before you enter a turn, you want to set up your body position correctly. So let's say uh, I know I was about to take a right turn. I want to shift over a little bit and get my body ready to take the turn. But now let's say I didn't do any of this. I didn't shift around in my seat at all. I'm in a neutral body position. If I'm in a turn, I can still stick my head over more without really disrupting uh, without really disrupting the physics of the bike, without really making it unstable. Now some people will say, yeah, you don't want to shift your body around while you're in a turn, and I agree with that, because you can make your bike unstable, but they're more so talking about actually sliding around in your seat, but just sticking your head a little bit over more and more, I feel like that won't destabilize your bike too much. Now at the same time, let's say you are in a turn and you do need to actually shift your body weight to be able to turn sharper. Damn, it's a terrible idea trying to motor vlog in traffic. Now let's say you are in a uh, turn and you need to shift your body weight a little bit more. That is going to be a risk you're going to have to do some analysis on. Will it be better to possibly overrun this turn and end up in oncoming traffic? Or would it be better to destabilize your bike, shift your body weight a little bit, and able to be able to turn sharper? The choice is yours. Now all these cornering techniques are things you really need to work on because you want to be comfortable no matter what situation arises. Somebody dropped a comment on a video I made similar to this saying, oh man, they're terrified of turns. Well, you need to practice them more often then, so you're not terrified of it. So you're not terrified of leaving your bike. Everything you do on your bike, you want to be comfortable. Because when you're scared, you get rigid. When you get rigid, your input into the bike can conflict with the bike is trying to do, and it can drop you. So last but not least, being able to quickly decelerate. Your quick braking is very important. And to practice this, you need to do it often. Here's another example of when you need to take off. Let's say this traffic just keep coming. Matter of fact, I'm gonna shoot this gap right here. Cause I'm comfortable with being able to accelerate quickly. and decelerate quickly. Now, so to practice this, you know, one thing I suggest you do is, you know, you accelerate to like 20 miles an hour and try to stop as quickly as you can. Try to stop within two parking spaces. So let's see. Something like that. Let's try one more. I didn't even check my speed. I might have been going too slow. 20 miles per hour, stopping before two parking spaces. Bam! Your boy is good. But yeah, man, that's all I got, man. The skills I feel like you need to have are being able to quickly take off from a stop, being able to turn with your body weight, being able to turn by counter steering, being able to quickly stop, and of course, downshifting. That's all I got for y'all, man. Y'all stay blessed. Don't be too stressed. Look at Lucinda out here looking her best. All right, man. Appreciate the support. Y'all stay up. Peace.